Hey, what's up guys? This is Johan and on this video we'll be working on the wiring panel for the 75 gallon aquarium. Video we are gonna handle some wire management and you could see the clutter of mess that I have right here. Um, I got my apex, the power bar, the energy bar, some controllers and stuff like that. There's a bunch of wire so I'm gonna try to get as much of this into a control um, panel. Um, so what I'm planning on doing, this is a glass, tempered glass tinted. I got some hinges coming that's gonna go here and hold it on here. And then I'm gonna put a, this is the board I just put in here just to test fit. Make sure it fits just fine. It's a little bit taller so it goes all the way up under, under the trim right here. So. Um, next thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and cut out some some holes and map out where I want to put some stuff. Alright guys, so I um, I went ahead and cut a little slot right here for the wires to come down. And then I am going to go ahead and mount this here. Only thing I hate though is the way these wires come out. I'm kind of envious of the guys in the UK. Uh, because they have the plugs that are right angled for one and they could unscrew it and screw it however they want so if they want to add some extensions it's easy but for us we have to go ahead and cut the wire now the reason I hate these because it's gonna sit out so far out of here that um, the glass won't fit so I'm probably gonna have to order some um, probably gonna have to order some of the the ones that are at a right angle. Alright guys, so I have everything just about wired the way that I want it to be. Um, I have the EB8 right here, then the Neptune brain down there. I have the two j controllers. This one is going to be for the protein skimmer, which is going to be plumbed on the other side over there. Um, protein skimmer and sump. Simatic combo is going to be on the back side there. And then that's the return pump, so that's on right now. Then I have the j controller. I do have one more... Um, pump that is on the far side over here but that one is gonna be down here so the controller is down here just on the floor right now but I do have a it's on its own standalone battery backup so it's gonna be always on so even if power goes off it's gonna um, just keep running so I'll show you back, battery backup in a little bit um, so everything is good to go one thing I did not like um, when I was doing this is the plugs how they kind of stick out I'm kind of jealous of the um, European pumps or the British pumps I mean the British plug sorry so you can see how this is bending and it kind of sticks out a bit so it sticks out a good amount and I'm put, gonna put the use this glass right here to be up front so it could be like a glass door so it could be like a glass door but I don't like how it is basically being touching the wire so what I found um, I looked online for these and I found a bunch of these um, like five I just got five but found these um, so they right angle and then try and do it with one hand it's a little bit hard so it's one hand um, not one hand it's a right angle plug and these rotate so it fits flat and then it just rotates so let me plug one in right there and now I could just take this and feed this back so I have a flat I have a flat um, surface so I wouldn't have to worry about that touching right there so this is two in there so that's that let me go ahead and plug these in and then go ahead and wire everything in
All right, guys, so that's what it looks like. Um, it gives it a lot more sleeker look than some plugs sticking all the way out. Um, like I said, I am kind of jealous of the um, European plugs where it's more flat, but this almost does the same thing, pretty much does the same thing. So I could easily come back and just uh, write in like silver, um, a silver sharp you'll have a sticker and then print the stickers out and the circuit sticker and just says you know this is the return pump this is the refugium light that's the um gyre pump and then these two should be lights well that one's a light that one's a heater um i have them all basically on the default settings so i haven't changed anything yet and i like the fact that um as you can see how here so i'm blocking one right now but if i would decide to use it i could easily rotate this up and it's the same for all these so I like it. It gives it a sleeker look. Um, so I might pull this one down a little bit so it looks a little bit nicer. So um, that's that. Next thing I gotta do is um, put the tablet right here. So um, I already mounted a bracket for it, just some zip ties and then an L bracket that I use for a stepper motor. I just put the tablet bracket right here to hold it. And then I have a, <coughs> a tablet that was given to me by my cousin. And I already have the um, the uh, Apex stuff on here, so it just pops in like that. Yep. So now I have control of everything in my system. You gotta refresh this page, though. All right, so we're on the home page, and you can see. Um, so I do have the Apex EL model, and so all I have right now is just the pH and the temperature probe. I will be getting the salinity probe it on and ORP um, I may or may not get that on on personally I don't see any use for it but you never know I may upgrade in the future but I just want to keep it simple so it's easy um, I could just look at it my wife could just come in if I'm at work or something or if I'm out of town she she just come in and look at this and then see what everything is like she can make sure everything is on it's simple for me simple for her so if anything is off it's easy just going in here and touch something slide it turn it off turn the lights off or whatever so that's that so my um ph right now is about 8.2 and then my temperature is at 75 degrees so that's what usually stays at 75 to about 80 so let's go in and look at that probably should be doing this on the computer but why not so um it's not as a smooth transition as most um, re other reefers I've seen, but I mean, I, this is the same thing every day. Every now and then you do see a drop in temperature, and I don't think that's, I think that's the probe getting touched by something. So, you can see there drop down to like almost 73, but anyway, from 75 to about 78 degrees throughout the day. And let's go back over there. So this tab is a little bit slow. So, like I say, it was an old tablet that was given to me by and this tour just keeps coming back up. <laughs> like I say, it's an old tablet that was given to me by my cousin, so it served its purpose. Um, so I didn't really have to spend any money on much for this wiring panel. This was the tablet was given to me by my cousin. So the pH has just come up. So the tablet was given to me by my cousin, and the, P, the um, Apex model was um, sponsored by um, by. Roof of Hex, um, I won this from the 20 gallon nano cha challenge, and then I did buy these two a um, long time ago, and then this was also sponsored um, by the nano challenge as well, the eight, the, um, the gyro pump. So um, that's that, so wiring is pretty much done, I just gotta um, get a better, uh, not better, a uh, solution for this, so I'm thinking a nice wiring box right here to keep all the extra wires and then I'm gonna mount all the I'm gonna mount all the power supplies on the back side over here um, just some velcro put them down here and then zip tie all the wires make them look a little bit neater so I don't have any problems um, with wiring and all that so I didn't want to leave them on the ground area because if anything happens if this some accidentally overflows I don't have a drip tray just yet. I am planning to put a drip tray in and plumbing it straight into the drain outside. So 
if it happens to overflow in the next few let's say a month or so and i don't have a drip tray then it could possibly cause that a electrical fire or something if water overflows and touches the power supplies but um so far so good this tank is coming along good um i still gotta do this part right here um paint this up so i'm just trying to test it and then i gotta um get a built get a frame built for that glass right there so it's a good debunk that i do have already have some hinges and stuff that goes there and then i got these from ikea about five bucks for these like window door handle thingies that i guess that comes with like a dresser or something so i'm just gonna put those over there i wanted to get these in white but my wife insists on black <laughs> she wants everything to look black but i'm like look the house is like brown and white why can't the thing be white and brown to match that but no no that's my wife she wants black we'll see but yeah guys so give you guys a quick look at the tank um turn this down a little bit yeah so that looks nice and i guess i could turn the white lights on just a tad yeah so that looks a lot better so Look, guys, look at the system. It's coming along really, really nice. Um, for something I had, it's almost under a month it's been set up. It's been looking really, really nice. So, um, only coral I think I'm having an issue with is this torch coral. It hasn't really fully opened, um, but it is open. But usually, the tentacle should be about this long. Yeah, a couple inches off the base, but it's taking its precious time. So I gotta keep. I'm keeping an eye on that coral and um, everything else is doing okay uh, you can clearly see the difference between the rocks so see how this one is dirty and that's like the new rock so this one's dirty and has a bunch of like algae and stuff on it doesn't look clean you can see that but these rocks looks pretty like really really clean and you get blue cliff pops and stuff that's growing there so that rock back there looks clean as well the arch looks extremely clean so you could cl see a clear distinction distinction in between rock that's properly cycled that's been going for over a year and brand new rock so um once this sets in i'll say give it like three more months for it to properly set in get all the proper bacteria deep down in its pores and it's going to be clean and all the um bristle worm is going to be in there clean up that up and then that should be good to go so system is looking really really nice uh, fish are doing okay two clowns they so hiding right there <laughs> So system's doing nice. Um, can't really complain too much. Uh, I'm happy with the system. For something I set up in like a month or so, it it it, it looks like it's gonna take off. So I just gotta monitor algae and get the protein scheme online. Once I get that protein scheme online, then it should be good to go. Um, the refugium is doing good. So it's starting to. You um, can see. How much algae that's grown since the last little two handfuls so that's almost full so that's good um nothing else <laughs> i guess we could end this video here all right guys so if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button down below and also remember to subscribe I'll catch you guys in the next one